Geekus Studios, it is Weekend Geek Update. Smurf here and a brand new remodeled studio that got flooded. Yes, the, the stupids <laughs> in, in the building next to us hit a water main and flooded the entire studio, but that's okay, because we're in the tasting room at Figus Studios. Uh, we are, I promised you, video this year, 2021, and it's a whole new bag, baby. Papa's got a brand new bag of tricks. So there's stuff coming. There will be video of us doing shenanigans. That's the best term I think I can do, right? Shenanigans? shenanigans. Oh yeah, we're shenaniganizers. I agree. So, me, you already know. To my right, I have got PJ Pop Culture, who is now part of the team. And next to him, of course, is Wakeman. I think that, I just, Wakeman, I think, just fits the best. <laughs> Wakey yeah. bakey, I really, I really like that coin of phrase. I really still think we should do that somewhere along the line. Somewhere along the line, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to see wakey bakey product. Mm. I just don't know on what yet. Wakey bakey, for goodness sake. Yes. <laughs> Where's my wakey bakey? <laughs> I, my day doesn't start well unless I get some wakey bakey. <laughs> we can make your own strain. Oh. Mm. A hybrid? Yes. It'd have to be a sativa because you'd be awake, man. Oh. Ah. Oh. See what you did there. Um, so with the new year and everything that we've got going on, um, <clears throat> the news as you know it will always be here because that's what the driving force. It's hard to have culture when you don't have culture going on, but we'll make it up as we go along. In addition, we will start to do toy and statue reviews, I think is what we decided. Yeah, I think statues and toys, that's... So what we're going to do is do openings, which PJ already does on his page. And then we'll do contrast and compares with a lot of the new stuff versus the old back in my day stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we will add a new element to the podcast, which is right up my alley. We will be doing nerdy cocktails. Booze. So, booze. It is the driving force, and let's face it, it's kept most of glue together during 2020. So uh, we will be doing that in addition to interviews, nonsense, shenanigans. Um, but, without any further ado, anything you would like to interject, gentlemen, because nobody knows you. Um, so, yeah, my uh, name is Ryan Wakeman. Most people just call me Wakeman, it's just my last name. And, uh, yeah, like doing uh, video, audio, yeah, video, audio uh, some voice work, and uh, makeup effects, uh, visual effects, a little smattering of everything, because everything's too fun. So I've chosen uh, the life of a... A jack of all trades versus a master of one because too many things are way too interesting and uh, besides that overall shenanigans dad jokes and puns oh <laughs> dad jokes dad jokes. I like a good dad joke uh, I am PJ of PJ pop culture thanks thanks for having me and be a part of the team BT dubs which is Spanish <laughs> by the way uh, I'm, I'm you know I'm excited to just be your go-to Fucking guy in the middle. I know toys. I know comics. Yeah. I know. You know a lot. I know a lot. You know. You know, you know more than you really realize. I'm. You know, this is not the time to be humble. I guess. No. I, no. I'm a good uh, fit for the show. I'm very. You excited. are a good fit. Um, and you know, I'm just gonna bring what I know and learn what I don't. And like, that's yeah. a coin. Coin. Uh, co copyright phrase. <laughs> copyright. <laughs> As in both of you, just the chats in between that we have, like behind the scenes, is these two know so much about so much that I don't know. Like talking about different kind of toys, collectibles. Um, I thought I was good with pop vinyls and Magic the Gathering, and they go like talking about culture and things that I have no clue. I'm like, oh, so that's what we're doing. I'm learning today, dude. My last, when I think about it, my last Magic set that I bought, like, like hunted after feverishly, was Ice Age. Ooh. So I was at Alpha, I was at the very beginning, and, and I stopped like around Ice Age and 4th edition. Nice. Yeah, it's, uh, oh gosh. Somewhere is a shivin'. So I don't know where, but somewhere in my shit is a shivin'. Where do you live again? <laughs> Secrets. Shit is. Spoilers! No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yes, so new directions, but very comfortable settings. settings. Um, so, yeah, there we go. And if you have questions, comments, um, by all means, please let us know. We are sponsored by Susie Q's, who is the creator of some incredible jewelry. She will be on the podcast in February. We are going to go to her booth and visit her. 
Where your her booth is, you ask? Good question! You're going to have to wait until February to find out. So we will have Susie on uh, that is, is going to show us some of her wares and how she gets them and makes them. She's a, she's, she's a blacksmith. I want to know if she's got like an anvil and a hammer like in the kitchen. Oh, that would be awesome. Fire. Wouldn't it? I'm like, can't wait. Where like, do you want to Ding. <laughs> Where do we find the... Elven, you know, blood dude. I, well, I really, I re I know. I went on a Hobbit like kick <laughs> during during the break because I had to like watch all the Lord of the Rings. But I'm like, if I'm gonna do that, I gotta watch Hobbit. Which, for good or for bad, it, it I still like it. I still don't like other elements of it, but it's still good. And I, I want, I want some mithril. I do. Oh um, yeah, mithril. Mithril. My own chainmail. But yeah, I want Susie to make my own chainmail. I want to. If she has some, I'm gonna wear it. Just, during the podcast, that'd be so dope. Oh, Wouldn't it? We, you know, you're just inspiring me for if, if perhaps we get a Renaissance festival for 2021, we do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some custom stuff. Here. I still don't understand Klingons at the the Renaissance festival. I, I guess I the warrior's know. warrior, man. <laughs> <laughs> Can't deny it. It's just a reason to be drunk in public. No, that's golf. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Also, you guys couldn't tell. Oh, oh, sorry. No. Uh, you guys couldn't tell. We're uh, very much like mushrooms. We're all fun guys. Fun, fun guys. But uh, it's dad joke. If I can, I, I mean, you know what? I mean, at some point, I'm gonna have to load up a rim shot over here so that every time you do that, I can just have the audio for it. <laughs> like put a quarter in the jar. Yeah. Or slap a rubber band. You put the nickel in machine. You must listen to a whole song. I fucking love that scene in Ant Man and Wasp. Oh no, you put nickel in. You gotta hear the whole song. Take a jukebox. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can just quote movies all day. But we won't bore you with that. So, more to come. Like us, share us, go to the YouTube channel, 5280Geek, uh, where we'll have the video posted up from the podcast with the new segments. And, of course, we are on every podcast platform you can think of, including iTunes, iHeartRadio. Um, name it, we're there. Yeah. There's some lot that... So, we've got, like, listeners in the Ukraine... India, um, Australia, and there's like platforms that I never put us on mm -hmm. that I show up in my my numbers. I'm like, I don't even know where the who is this? Where is this going? So we are we are worldwide. We are like pitbull. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so uh, like to share us. If you got comments, questions, put them below. We'll answer them in the, in due time. So on to the news, which is rather interesting. WandaVision, did you guys watch? Absolutely. I have not yet. But okay. I've heard nothing but good. Well, I'd say mixed reviews. So, no spoilers. Um, my initial reaction is interesting. I don't know how I feel about it. I yeah. really don't. Because it really is starting to feel like a slow burn. It, it's definitely, it's, it's a slow, slow burn. And you really need to be a pop culture fanatic, I think, to get <laughs> a lot of the reference. Um, kids <laughs> today aren't going to know shit about this. There are, there's a few... I mean, I like how the set changed, and it looks like it's... They start with, like, a, a throwback to the Dick Van Dyke show. Correct. And then they, like, flip it on you, and it then looks, I think, almost like I Love Lucy, or, like, one of the modified Dick Van Dyke sets... So I was trying to figure out that as they were going through, but all in all, I'm, I'm I still think they're in hell. She's in hell. But the more with the TV and everything, I, I, re I really, I really want it to be the Mojo verse. Mojo. I really, I would, I, I would just be fucking yeah. ecstatic with the Mojo verse. So what is the? Uh, that's just making me think of Mojo Jojo from Powerpuff Girls. Oh, Mojo Jojo. <laughs> The best villain of the Powderpuff Girls. No, I know. I know. I'm sorry. Powerpuff. I don't want to upset anybody, but it's just inside joke with somebody else. Um, <laughs> I even bought that person a little, a little, what's the green one's name? Bubbles? Buttercup. Buttercup. Little statue. Look at that. Little buttercup statue. Nice. No respect. You just have to remember that cliche voice at the very beginning. <laughs> Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup were all created to be create the perfect little girls. Something like that. No, okay. I gotcha. Um, so the Mojoverse is, uh, it's an entirely uh, different dimension that is based on TV ratings. 
So oh, I okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you see where I'm going with this. Right. So Mojo basically is this. He's he's part of the spineless ones, and he sits in this chair with like little octopus legs, and he has this big spider legs. Yeah, and he's got this big aperture that has it's over him that shoots lasers and does all sorts of different things. Um, but he is absolutely insane. Mojo mm -hmm. is nuts, and it's all about rating. So in um, X Men Annual Nine, we get like a good dip into the Mojo verse. They've also done like limited series, um, one shots, and stuff like that. X Men Number Six or Seven, we go into the Mojo verse. That's Jim Lee. Long Shot, of course, was the big character that came out of Mojo verse out of the Long Shot limited series mm -hmm. that was back in the eighties. There's good reference to it um, in the 90s animated series. Where, yes. Um, um, if you just want like a quick... But you know, it's... it's Long, uh, Long Shot's got a mullet. Yeah, Mojoverse, though, I, I feel like they already referenced that in, in Ragnarok. You know, that was the Did whole... They? I, I felt like that's where they were going with the whole Grandmaster thing. Right? No, like, because the Grandmaster is, is really like... That is... The Contest of Champions. Yes, there, that, like, the but, Contest of Champions did happen. That was its own series. He was like kind of about the ratings and. The... Well, that's the Grandmaster, though. Okay. I mean, and I'll, I'm I'll... waiting. I'm waiting for the Grandmaster and the Collector to face off because that's what they do. Because mm -hmm. they're brothers. And I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that to happen in. In the MCU. In the MCU. I don't think we'll get it. I don't think we'll get. I don't that. think we'll get it. No. Not a chance. That would be lovely. Oh, that would be, be so lovely. <laughs> but I honestly think, and I, I don't know if it's true, but I really want the Mojo verse to come in because it really, it really seems to fit. Because it, it's either that or the way Loki's trailers go, it really feels mm -hmm. an, again very television y rating I kind of thing. I see that, and the way, the way so far, both episodes ended. Yes, it like it was, a, it was the ending of like an old sitcom. Yeah, like uh, Bewitched. Well, didn't right, it go kind of like, like under the radar? Two. Like it was very low key. Oh god. <laughs> yes, <laughs> just like that. But even the commercials, the commercials are hokey as hell, but they're actual pop references. Like the Strooker timepiece, which is an agent of Hydra. He's like one of the villains. You got the yeah, you got the Hydra symbol on the yes, watch. Yes, you have a Hydra symbol on the watch. The, the toaster. The toaster from Stark, Stark like, Industries. Like it had the Stark the, Industries logo on it, and it did look like Iron Man. And it. Did you notice that the, the color changed? Yes. On the light. Mm-hmm. Interesting. There's a lot of. So what I'm liking about this, and, and it's it's gonna take a long time. What is there? Eight episodes? Ten episodes? But see, if, if it is, then I think we've already wasted an, an episode. Because I think if we, I think it is only eight. To answer your question, they're okay. thirty minutes. But like five minutes it are credits. But the credits are different each time. The first half, yes, but the, the closing out credits? Yeah, correct. Closing out credits are ridiculously like long. Minutes. Jesus. <laughs> almost just sounds like anime. No, that's a lie. Those are about 15 minutes. Yeah. And last time. And last time. And next time. And you get five minutes of story and here it is. What? And then here's coming next week. And Fireball. All we, that's all we have for today. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not feeling that. I, I'm really pissed that we've already had like two episodes like this, and they're kind of hokey. I've watched it twice. Okay. And there's you pick up on things. Right? There are some, and we don't want to give away any spoilers. We're not out about the spoilers, but Marvel hit, yay or nay? I'm going to say yay, but I'm okay. hopeful. I see the big picture. I see the whole phase four unraveling, right? This is this is, well, this is is what is going to bring us into the whole Spider-Verse, the whole... You're whole hoping. Yeah, this is... Don't fuck this up for me, <laughs> Do you think it's like too early to tell, or is there like potential for the remaining six episodes where there's good build-up, or...? I, I'm hoping. I mean, because when... Uh, watching it... I came away with a couple of different things, and I'm like, okay, like you. The second time I watched it, I'm like, all right. But I'm trying to find a reference that somebody brought up that they, they already mentioned Wonder Man. That Wonder Man somehow got mentioned in there, but I don't remember anything about a Simon. Mm -hmm. 
or any kind of reference that would... Simon Williams! He is a stuntman who ends up becoming an Avenger, and he ends up becoming Wonder Man. But he's a... God, depending upon what era you go to, he's like a, uh, a clone of Vision. He's an android clone of Vision. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. And so, yeah, there's some huh. just, there's some weird shit with Wonder Man. Yeah. So I'm curious if we're gonna get Wonder Man out of this. I I don't know. One thing I do know is it's for the children. It is for the children, and they did that a lot. A lot. So what is for the children? I, I think it's for I don't know. Should I say? I think it's for the twins. The twins that don't exist. That's out of the comics. It's true. I don't know. I'd be curious to see. I am. I am hooked. I and I know this leads into the mouth of madness or whatever the uh, multiple the house, dimension. House of M. Is that what it was? The, the house comics? of M is different though. The house of M. Wanda snaps and eliminates the entire mutant population. She Correct. eliminates the mute gene, and all that's left are like she, twenty mutants. She says no more mutants. No more mutants, and just. Boom! But they got a lot of reference from that they did. series. And yes, especially like at that final scene, and she's like, no. Mm -hmm. And right. I was like, is that Swarm? I mean, why is the guy with the bees? I'm like, it's Swarm! <laughs> Yay! It's the king. All right, so something new. Our, our resident, I don't, I don't want to call you a toy expert, because I'm in the room, but... Oh, <laughs> bird. It's doing so good. Um, I've been collecting for a very long time. Mm -hmm. I've, 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 I've seen the peaks, I've seen the valleys, and I know everything in between. So what we've decided to do is to lend my immense experience, yes, I'm old, to the then and to the now. Because yeah. you're, you, you have a unique term of, of your role. Yes, I, you know, I, I would consider myself a toy hunter. Yes. Right? Which is, I think, I think a fair assessment. Yeah, um, of what I like. Mm -hmm. Not to be confused with a toy, what, did, what was it, a toy Poacher? I think a plastic poacher. I think poacher. a plastic poacher. Plastic poacher. Plastic That's poacher. Even, that, yeah. Because I've seen those, even in my day, when back in the day Toy Biz had just started the X-Men line, the new Star Wars figures on the mm -hmm. orange cards had landed, the Treasure Hunt Hot Wheels cars, mm -hmm. there was a, a, a posse of people that would gather at the front of Toys R Us and Target and at Oakman, people would run to the aisles, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it, they would just clean everything out. Right. And this is when you 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 could basically toss a, a, a cat by the tail and hit a collectible store. Mm -hmm. They're a little spread out now. A little bit, but th that's the, the, that's the thing, right? The, the and, plastic and poachers why, still exist. And, and back then, that's why little PJ got the fucking Forge figure <laughs> and Sauron. <laughs> I didn't get any X Men. I never got an X Men figure, but I got a fucking pterodactyl. That was cool. <laughs> you got you got the peg warmers. That's it. You yeah. know, I, I I almost brought in to put on. And in fact, I didn't put it on here. In fact, I, is it? Oh, I should pull it out of the bag. Actually, it's over there. Um, I have my my Deadpool from the first line that mm -hmm. usually is on the mic stand, but I, I didn't put them on. But I have the Iceman that changes color. In the freezer from the first Toy Biz line, I almost brought it just to taunt you, because I know you never got that. Didn't even know it existed. No, <laughs> here we oh are. Oh my god, I'm gonna bring this that. This is this is the problem with plastic poachers, though, right? And this is why I I, I value being a hunter, like like a real hunter. You need to keep. You, you minimize the herd a little bit, but yeah. you don't wipe out the species. No, you and, and in fact, nowadays the days of buying two, shredding one, and keeping one in the package are long gone. I, Truly. I, I mean, I can't, I can't justify it because space, mm -hmm. and I for space from from storing and even displaying the figures. I, I've got statues now. I've got, I mean, I've got like some really key things that I'm like, okay, I think I'd rather, I'd, I'd rather wrap that up instead of that's limited, an action figure. Yeah, actually, limited statues yes. versus something that's being hoarded in a warehouse somewhere that they're putting out. <laughs> You know, whatever. So, with the nostalgia 
wave that is hit. Because mm-hmm. it is it is about the nostalgia wave right Truly. now. Truly. Um, what did you bring us today? So, I figure we start off with the hotness. Hotness. You know, the I hotness. love hotness. Started in 2020, uh, Mattel relaunched Masters of the Universe. And this is... Okay, so Mattel has done... Mattel has done multiple hits or attacks on this because this is not the the first Masters of the Universe line to be relaunched, but this is key because they're going for the original inspired molds. Correct. They basically, the, the in essence, the same mold with variations to add uh, poseability joints, yes. right? Just a little points of articulation. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I, I usually say cool shit like that, but I mean, I'm so intimidated. <laughs> oh, spare me, Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm on stage with Smurf, I'm getting upstage, god damn it. Are you supposed to pee yourself? Right. <laughs> uh, but so, yeah, I, I, I brought Skeletor. Um, and this and is it, fresh hotness, because, I mean, the, 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 the cherry is still in the card. It's, yeah, I still, I didn't even punch it. That's 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 Virgil. Virgil. <laughs> this is French. Uh, um, and this is actually the 2021 version. So uh, 2020. Well, 2020 launched. we saw like the the classic classic single card. Yeah, man, hey man. Right, exactly. This one actually comes with uh, two head molds, different from the single card version. Right. Um, and accessories like weapons, things like that. So originally, and I remember this f- character figure back in the day, because I remember the, the commercial. The commercial was huge, because it was battle damage, and you could hit the armor, and it would flip. Strike the armor, yeah, cause the damage. That was, that was the thing, because He-Man had the armor, and Skeletor had mm-hmm. the armor. They were the only two characters to have this battle feature you... uh, back in the day. So mm-hmm. to see this, I... I I'm a little nostalgic. I'm kind of like, right? Okay, it's I'm bringing like, up the feels. Uh, it is. I'm like, yeah. oh. and they did the same thing. Uh, I'll turn it over. Um, they did come out with just He-Man and Skeletor in this wave, and and what I like about it too is like the original. Mm. It comes with the actual power sword. And if you remember, Smurf, the original idea in '82 when they launched He-Man was. The two halves of the sword became one sword. Yes, and that was the that was power, that was the right? key to to, to, to Gray Skull. Gray Skull. Yep. To get the power of Gray Skull. Yes. Um, so you, in fact, have to get the human to have to get the key. And Mattel is launching. Are they? I was. Gray Skull. I was just about to ask you because there have been. I mean, because you have the Maddie line. Um, that they did years ago where they had like a Grayskull statue and it was huge and there mm-hmm. were a couple of other statues in that line that were just so beautiful but so limited mm-hmm. as far as distribution and I never I never got on yeah, this, online. This one uh, and, and the the rumor is this one you'll actually be able to fit the figure <laughs> through, in the door through not, the, the not j- turn it sideways. The jaw bridge? <laughs> yeah, so. It's a big freaking deal. It is a big deal because He-Man didn't fit through. And if you watched um, Toys That Made Us mm-hmm. on Netflix, they, they they cover this. Yeah. Uh, in it, depth. In depth. Very, very deep. Bong. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love that old guy. <laughs> Bong. Bong. <laughs> anyway, so in comparison, so you got this. What else? Because you've got more hotness for us. Yeah, so you can't have Skeletor without his partner in crime if you ask me so i also found the brand new 2021 panthor uh, which is really cool because i noticed that the box art actually shows this figure right now. not the original figure that released in 2020 mm-hmm. super dope that um, is cool so we're gonna be opening up both of these but not just that we are comparing these with the original and thanks to my good buddy James over at All Seas Collectibles, yes, uh, he let me borrow this original 1982 Man in Arms, who is by far one of my my favorite out of the original line. Mm-hmm. I, I always loved him, but and the cartoon he had a mustache. That was my only complaint. Which was always would always threw me off. <laughs> Why not give the man the mustache? Exactly, and it was just kind of like an afterthought. He's a he's a wee bit wobbly and. So, Loose on the rubber Wobbly band. Wobbly in the there. knees. So, I mean, when you're dealing with He-Man, the molds pretty much were all the same. Yeah, I mean, arms, legs, 
I mean, plus. yeah, except for the what Tila and Evil Lynn, mm -hmm. as far as the mold, all of them kind of, for at least the first two releases, basically all, all the, came same the same. Mode. Like the the hero mold had the muscular arms, the villain mold had the the little spike gauntlet, <laughs> if you will, the the beast man gauntlet, and boots versus like the three toes. Yes, right, so right. Those were the big differences in the molds, I think. And then, of course, you add the accessories, which is what PJ is all about. It's all about the accessories. <laughs> oh, my God. So what else do we got? And then also we have, um, they didn't have, unfortunately, an original Panther, which I love because he was flocked. Um, and if you don't know what flocked means, look at the flock up. I'm just kidding. It means it's hairy. <laughs> he, he can't, because there were a couple of characters that came. Panther came with, he felt like a crushed velvet suit. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it was it was velour. I mean, it was it was creamy, and it was like, ooh. But I, if you took him outside, he didn't last the day. The, the, yeah. You came in, and it looked like you know you you done a part part eighteen. Yeah, it looked like boss <laughs> man. He looked like that was the other one I was just about to cover, but <laughs> exactly <laughs> right. Um, but this is Stridor, which is the the stallion of uh, Fisto. Correct. And they, you know, very sexual names in the. Which is what I love the most about Masters of the Universe. <laughs> Fisto, Rim Job, um, Buzz Skunk, Off. Yeah, Buzz. <laughs> Mastor. They did Bandor, not have a <laughs> Kind of Langor. They were twins. Faker. Fakor. I'm serious, there is a character named Faker. Yeah. There is. He's blue. He is. Um, but yeah, we're going to do the big comparison okay. between these guys. I'm, I'm, I can't wait because they've. they've Jump light years, you know, in in, in ways <laughs> have, in some ways, not so much. We're still in 1997. We're still making. Yes. Whenever, whenever, when was uh, the future and Back to the Future two? Uh, it was 2000. Huh? It was yeah. It was like it, we just passed it. It was like 20 yeah. something. I don't remember. I know I'm gonna lose my geek card on that because. That's something I actually should know. And I actually forgot my entire reference for that joke, so moving on. <laughs> Alright, so next what? Open? Yeah, should we just jump right in? So sure. um, check me out also on PJ Pop Culture YouTube. I do toy openings, and I think, you know, as a collector, we, we discussed the Smurf, like um, keeping one mint in package yeah. is cool for some, but. Honestly, if you, you know, there's going to be a thousand mint in box, so I'm, you'll be able to find one down the road. The one rule, okay, so if I haven't said this enough, if, in the one rule of collecting, it, it, it's all about collecting what you like. And if if you're not digging it, then don't, don't, don't collect it. Yeah, don't be... Play with your toys, dude. Don't be a plastic poacher, right? Like... Get it because you like it, not because you're trying to make a buck Ooh. off of a kid. Does this really come? Ah. Yeah. So back in the day, they did have comics mm -hmm. that showed kind of a brief story. It got Ram Man in here. Was the, that was the cool thing, right? Like, yeah. This toy came out before its cartoon. Yes. Right? So Technically. You had... Because the cartoon came out in 83. Yeah. So... Really, to know what the hell was going on, you had the comic. And it also even has the ever so valuable on the back, um, the the punch list of characters in the next series, which was just like the old Star Wars. I mean, you look on the back of the card to see which which figures were coming. Mm -hmm. Now, it's got She-Ra on the next set. Yeah, I actually ran into She-Ra the other day. I, I left it for oh. some other nice. And Merman, which has always been a favorite of mine, because he just he was just so misunderstood in the cartoon. I hated Zodiac. I don't want to kill her. And I don't remember Clamp Champ. Roboto was fun. Roboto, he's cool. He's definitely. He's got the great. gears inside of him, yep. and when you move him, he kind of. Yes. Mr. Roboto. Okay. Don't move. <laughs> Uh, what else we got here? Oh, ooh, features. I like this. Oh, and there's there in the back it shows the joining of the, the, power, the sword. power sword. I like that. And it also gives you um, keep points. Ooh, 
on the, okay, on the back, that's cool. It shows you removable parts, so you're not guessing as far as what comes off. So he's got removable hands, legs, waist, all of that. Okay, that's cool. So, load us up. What we got here? So, all right. Let's 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 do a real quick comparison here. I'm gonna tell you right off the get. Already. Oh. He has ankle articulation. He has calf articulation. Oh, so right at the, the calf swivel. Yeah, right? and he's got knee. Knee bend. Really good. That's that's almost full. That's ninety. That's ninety degrees on the knees. Hip. Just full, full like, full like the normal. Right. So that's fine, but I don't think there's a rubber band because there's a rubber band in the old schools. Yes, and this it looks like it's a joint. It, this is definitely a joint. Okay. Yes, you can actually see. Yeah. The joint. It is a joint. So it's a ball joint. So they the band in the band air band aids, because huh. that's kind of what it is. Because you a rubber band has a shelf life. For for so long. I mean, True. even even my Migos, I worry at this point because those are from the seventies. How long are those rubber bands inside those guys? And you have like like refurb kits now for those. Yeah, and, see, and even the Joes. Right? Yeah, because I've I've got a Lady J, a Low Light, and um, a Shipwreck that need replacement. Yep. Because they they. Oh. Yep. No Joe. Buy it straight from he. He also comes with elbow articulation, full wrist, uh, all directions, not just flexion and extension. Okay. Um, head comes off. That is dangerous. Extra hand. An extra gripping hand for the left. Mm -hmm. Comes with the sword and the staff. The staff by far is the selling point for me. Which is money. The the this right here is is gold in right. my opinion. The, the, the Ram's head staff. I really oddly probably should have Nate 3D print me a Skeletor staff. I really should. You can do a lot with 3D printers. And that's what that's what I was mentioning earlier too. What I like about these is they come pretty plain. So they're... I've seen some badass customized figures. So by just a little blue wash on this yeah. would add so much detail to the arms that... You have well at your least custom figure. at least with the the comparison from the paint and the muscle. I mean they've they've kept it kind of consistent. So I mean, the the big difference is the deltoid from mm. a physical therapy perspective is not as you know <laughs> not protruding. Cut. Doesn't look like it's enraged. It's not as cut <laughs> and his forearms right, but it's pretty damn accurate. All right, so what I like is okay. So what I like and I dislike at the same time. Um, I like the points of articulation, but I, I don't like the removal and the replacement. Because, and I know you've seen this, mm -hmm. it's easy to break. Those little tiny, yeah. That little peg? I mean, I've seen sturdier pegs from the Battleship game than, than that. That's true. It, it looks like the tiniest. It's, it looks like the weeest of Q-tips. Yeah. <laughs> That will need to be 3D printed. Yes. I honestly can see that going kaput. How is the ball joint for the head? Can you swap? Do you want to swap the head? Let's swap the heads real quick. Oh, oh. also on the back, I like that it's got Ooh, the Oh, that's added because harness. that did not come right? with the original. The originals, you used to have to tuck it in. Yeah. Behind. Yeah, and you know how many of those I broke? Dude, my He-Man figures went the way of combat Carl a long time ago. I mean, they are just... Gone, and I oh, remember like oh. He-Man. The first thing that I lost was the the chest piece because of putting the sword mm -hmm. back there. And then now it's that's solid plastic. Too. So it's part of the mold. Yeah. The okay. head swivel is really good. Ball joints decent. Okay. Oh, oh, look! You can get a pop. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. So is the ball? What's the? Oh, the ball joint even moves it's in the its own thing, which could be. Oh, okay. Be bad too. I like I, I like it and I don't, but okay. I like the heads though. I really like the heads, and what I like about these heads is you can Oh it won't fit on the mic stand. Throw yeah. this on the single card figure that's getting ready to probably hit clearance. Yeah. And you got, you know, multi heads, you better get a throne for this dude. Oh <laughs> Damn you he wait, wait. He man Damn you he man Right. <laughs> so I, I like it, you know, and 
And what I really like about this figure, this deluxe figure, yeah. this figure was 20 bucks. God. Okay. It just seems so. That's that's a good price for all of that's this. That's a good. Okay. Right? <sighs> two heads, two weapons, shield, extra hand. The days. Of, I, I mean, I, 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 I'm comparing to the days $5. Right, ten dollar figures seemed like a mutt. Way, yeah. way too much. Inflation is so much. twenty dollars. Twenty bucks. Okay. The single carded figures, which I also like, are fifteen bucks. Okay. Which I mean, is it's... even I, I think those were more ten dollars. Okay. If yes, I, I'm, I'm with you on that. And and for Mattel quality, it's not bad. It's 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 not bad. All right. So I, I like it. Um. So the next piece, and this is you know why we have to have this. Um, because oh, uh, stroke. If you put these together, obviously the the oh, older the rides, they just kind of sat on there. To, you stuffed them in. Get in there! Right? I exactly. can't move. My prostate's in the way. Ah! Sorry, that was so uncalled for. I apologize. My prostate. <laughs> I can't get it open. <laughs> See, that's where Fisto would go. I remember, I remember that. That was, yeah. But see, because that is just a rigid, hollow piece of plastic. The good. I mean, shit. the sculpt on it is is cool, especially when you're considering the day or you know the date and the you know what was going on in the world for toys. Yep. These were the 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 first. Right? Yeah. This was the... Well, this is. I mean, this was their. This was their shot. I mean, and if you watch the toys that made us, He-Man was just one of those. Uh, nobody had any idea it was going to hit like it did. So it, it, it was a gamble. It was. It was even when they were selling it. Bigger, it was, bigger gamble than GI Joe. Yeah, they were making it up on the spot. Oh, okay. See now that. So, oh yeah, Panther. If you remember, Panther was just an old. Um, it was. It was. Battle Cat. It was Cringer, just painted purple with fur. Right, and which was the old mold from Tarzan? No, I, it was like Jungle Safari set. Yes. The jungle like Jungle Safari set that they repainted. So they just It wasn't even a good repaint. Right. So it was just a single mold, yes. and then they put the um, saddle on it. Um, Panther was flocked, but already, I mean, this one, our math that's, that's cool. articula there's articulation, period. The jaw moves, the head moves. All the legs move. Legs. Um, Dude, this thing is like a poseable beast. You can you can pose this shit up. And if you were to take an older figure. Okay, see, now you got me sold. Mm -hmm. okay. Now I'm gonna have to go find like my old Skeletor if he, if he even exists. And you can take the new figure. The new figure. So relative size, I mean, they're still the same, just better sculpted, more points. More points of articulation. Okay. Sculpt is, yeah, I mean, sturdier. How was the, the battle action on the chest? Now we get to the goods. Yes. Right? So What's the, 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 the feature? Cool, all that. But the feature on this, if you remember... Oh my you, god, look. Not only does it bend at the, at the knee, but it also swivels. It's got, yeah, knee swivel, knee bend. Oh, yes. Okay. So if you remember, you push it down and yep. turn it with your thumbs. Would you like to do the honor? <laughs> so you strike it once. <laughs> oh. Once. <laughs> one, one slice. Ah. Oh. One slice. Strike it again. Two slices. Two slices. All right, just like the old toy. Like the old one. This one definitely feels more. They changed the sculpt on the sword, though. That's different from the old school. I feel like it's the same as No, because these were joined at the top. Were they? Well, yeah. Oh, yes. Good Interesting. point. Okay. But, yeah. I like it. Even the backs click together, power sword. It's a half sword. I like it. It's... And, the other, and this had just, like, the back of the mold is different. Because where the sword was, they had just, like, a groove that He-Man's sword would just press together. Mm -hmm. They didn't have the, the pin punches Yeah, to, to lock it. Yeah. All right. Panther was twenty four ninety nine. I think that's a good twenty. That is for a ride. That that's a good price. You can use it for other figures. That's a good price. I'm, I'm I'm sold on that. I mean, for an accessory, it's not bad for an accessory. Yeah. Although you can get the Mystery Man for twenty bucks. 
a mystery machine. Yeah. And that works for all six six figures. And you paint that bitch black and you got the Punisher van. I was going to say A-Team, but okay, we'll go with the Punisher <laughs> <laughs> You do the A-Team too, shit. Either way, oh murder my God. she wrote. All right, so final verdict, what do you think? You know, I'm I, I'm not going to lie, this is my first G.I. Joe since... Your first G.I. Joe? Or shit. My first, first He-Man? He-Man. G.I. Joe's coming. Yeah, <laughs> my first He-Man since the 80s, and my, my one in the 80s was Spit... Spit tour. Yeah. Was that his name? Uh, sure, I'll go with Suction that. Suction mouth, dude. There was the leech that yeah, yeah. was green. And, yeah. yeah. I had him. But okay. I like it. I'm going to go with, I don't know, out of five, I'm going to sure. give it a, I'll give it a four. Okay. You know, I, I dig it. I agree with you. I'm at, I'm at a four. I do, as much as I love the old sculpt on the old ones, um, far and away, oop, he had a stroke. Um, <laughs> far and away, I, I'm with you. I, yeah. I like it. Balance is much better, too. Posability. I mean, yeah. You can't beat it. Not bad. All right. Uh, and that's, you know, that's retail price. I can't tell you what these are going to go for secondary, unfortunately. But uh, when I did find this, there was only one He-Man and one Skeletor. Hmm. So there's no talent on case quantity yet. I had no idea yet. All right. Well, there you have it. That's that it. is this week's opening. Banger. <laughs> <laughs>
bourbon that is just, oh, I, even just thinking about it right now, I just get, mmm, I love it so. But for the intent, <laughs> Waitman's cracking me up off camera. If you guys need to see what he's doing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Crack you up. So what you're looking to do is do a jigger, two ounces of your bourbon that you want to do. I'm using Boulite, which is one of the easiest and probably the best flavored bourbons you're going to find there and inexpensive when it comes to price. And that's kind of what I look for when I'm going to do an old fashioned or a drink like this. You still want quality. You still want bourbon that... Um, is, is enjoyable to you. And since Boulite is based off of an old 1920s recipe that got lost by Old Man Bullet, they still don't even know what happened to him. His family later found the recipe to bring Bullet back. So there's a little history for you. Uh, but it's a very good bourbon. High quality, especially for the price. Uh, Blanton's per bottle is probably about 100 bucks. Um, so if you really want to treat yourself and you can find it, that's where you want. So now that you've got that in there, you're letting it kind of ferment. You're letting it take on flavors. I used to have a guy that came in, uh, old timer. He'd always order a whiskey, two pours, two finger pour, with a single unbruised ice cube. The thing is, about ice, water, once you add it to a spirit, it changes it. It's as, as key as any other element that you're going to add to your cocktail. Now, the purpose of this, and of course, I've got these nice little globes here. No, they're not Death Stars. I know, that would have been perfect, wouldn't it? But what you're going to do is you're trying to change the complexity of the drink. You're kind of changing the flavors. And as the ice cube melts and adjusts the flavors of the drink, you're going to find different aromatics, different flavors that come through as the bitters mix, as the sugar dissolves further and further. I know some people, based on uh, how they've done with their muddling, gave a spoon to scoop out the sugar at the bottom of the glass. But if you're using these nice little globes, you can roll them around in there, get that sugar dissolved, and it works pretty good. Now the final couple of pieces to this is an orange peel. And the nice thing about oranges is the citrus smell, which you've already kind of got in there with the bitters. And you're dealing with more aromatics, you're dealing with the oils, and there's a little orange citrus that comes off the juice um, from the peel. And you just want to coat the glass with that, a little on the outside. Put that in there, again, adding to the flavors, adding to the aromatic of the cocktail. Then, what I like to do is add a little lemon. Again, same as before, peel side down, so you're getting those oils, you're getting the flavors, you're getting the aromatics, all of that into the glass. And again, coat the rim of the glass and slip that in there. Now there's a couple of elements that I'm not including in this. There are some that call for seltzer water, a tablespoon to help dissolve the sugar. There's also a call for maraschino cherries or a, um, a cherry of that sort to help with the sugar element. That's why I want a little bit heavier on the orange bitters in addition to adding the lemon, which adds that extra zest. It adds that extra flavor. And then of course it helps with the uh, um, da, 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 da. You know, this guy right here that I can't think of his name. Um, the absinthe that you coated the glass with. Because, of course, if you ever had absinthe before, you pour it over a sugar cube to get that licorice face. Face, yeah, because it's... Ugh. I'm, I'm not a big licorice guy. But that right there is the Sarlacc. And our, our guinea pig this week <laughs> is PJ, off camera, who we'll, we'll, we'll give this to. We'll see how he, how he takes it. He's got the he's got the look. He's going for the drink. And he's dead. <laughs> oh yeah. So normally when I'm dealing with my bourbons, I'm a little bit heavier of a pour, but typically two jiggers or uh, two ounce, one jigger is is the best approach for that. So I like my bourbon, like I said, straight, but I'm a little bit heavier pour when it comes to that. But it's all up to preference. So there you have it. Uh, any comments, any questions, by all means, shoot me a message. I'd be curious if there's other geeky cocktails out there that you would like for us to make. I've got a couple more coming your way, so stay tuned.